What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Jacob Ginsburg Chickadee. So this of course is the Chickadee um, and Jacob Ginsburg is a custom knife maker. I will leave his linked uh, Instagram and his website down below. Please go check him out. I believe he has another drop of the Chickadees coming relatively soon. Um, in a new configuration. I don't know the exact date, but I remember from seeing on his Instagram, he has made a couple posts or uh, stories about them. So if you're interested in this type of knife, uh, I don't know about this specific model. I don't know when he'll be doing that, uh, you know, this run again, but I know he's doing another run of the Chickadee model just in a different configuration. So if you're interested, go check him out. Like I said, his Instagram and his website will be linked down below. Uh, but I got this I think going on two months ago, I know it was like early November, so I'd say, you know, give or take two months, and I really, really like it. Um, I have really grown to appreciate it, and I really enjoy carrying it. So if you guys saw my unboxing video, you would have seen that I, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know it was going to be this small. Uh, I knew it was going to be smaller in size, but I was kind of surprised when I pulled it out of the box and I was like, oh, this is, you know, really, really small. And I was honestly a little worried right away. Is it gonna be too small, you know, for me and stuff like that? But as I carried it, as I've used it, I think it's perfect for my needs. And I think it's, you know, a really, really well done knife. And I think Jacob has a really cool product with the chickadee line he's doing. So um yeah, I just I just really have enjoyed it. So I'm I'm looking forward to doing the uh the review on this and hi Luce, I'll play with you later. Uh my dog again came up. She she's been coming up here and hanging out with me when I'm doing these videos, so but uh, I can't play tug of war right now, so you gotta wait until I'm done. Um, but jumping right in with materials. So the Kydex holster, or holster, got me thinking about guns. The Kydex sheath is made out of this really cool red carbon fiber. I'm not a very big carbon fiber fan, like just normal plain carbon fiber, but I think the red and the black with like the red orange micarta just goes really, really well together. Uh, I like the black rivets. You got the black soft loop right here. Uh, his logo is right there uh, towards the bottom by the snap loop. Jacob Ginsburg. I'll try to get a better light for you guys. I'm trying to catch that light. There we go. Um, I mean, overall, is a very small package. I believe cutting edge on this. You know, I'm not a stats guy. For those who, you know, watch my channel, you know that I'm not a very big technical, you know, type of guy. But I believe cutting edge is like two inches, something like that. So, I mean, this is a small knife, guys. Like, I, I really don't know how to compare because I actually, when I got home, I uh, took out my knife that I was carrying today. I put it back in my case and I hadn't slipped one in before. I did carry this, but I just, I don't have another folder to compare it with. Um, but, it, I mean, it's it's a small in size stat, stature knife. So, I'm um, trying to compare it with my hand. But, really small, really lightweight. The carbon fiber is done very, very well. The sheath is done very, very well. Um, has really, really good retention. You kind of have like a thumb ramp right there where you can just, you know, when you're going to pull it out, you just land right there, push and it pops out and you can hear, has very good retention. Um, this thing's not coming out at all. I have, you know, never felt that this thing was going to pop out. Uh, I did have a little bit of an issue with the um, screw being a little loose a couple times. So I just had to finally take a screwdriver and just really torque it down. Uh, it's been set in the same position uh, as it is, or as it was when I did that since then. So. No issues there. Kind of has a little bit of a tilt to it, but it rides right up front on my uh, belt appendix carry, if you will. Um, that's where I prefer to carry it, but we'll get into that with the carry. Uh, the materials of the handle scale, of course, like I said, are this reddish, you know, kind of orange micarta. Has a really, really good texture to it. I really like how it's finished and how it's done. And there is the blade. Just a small little guy. This is done in S35VM. He has done other models in, I believe, S90V. I think he's done Magna Cut ones. Um, some DLC coated, or not DLC coated, but uh, I think Nano coated, I believe is what they use for that term. Um, I believe his newest one will be in XHP. Um, he might have done some M390. He's done a pretty wide range of steels, which I, I really like. Um, I just happened to jump in on the S35VN. Uh, you know, if I could choose, I probably, you know, if I could choose any chickadee from his lineup that he's ever done, I probably would choose other steels over S35VN, but I really liked the 
um, scales with this and everything and the you know the, the sheath colorway and everything so an S35VN for me is a very you know usable steel I don't use my knives hard at all so I just I think that um, you know when I jumped in on it I was just happy to get one so but it's a full flat grind I mean it's just nice and thin behind the edge on right here just a small knife but I mean it cuts very well um, there's the thickness there I don't think I'm missing anything else from materials I do know if you take off the scales on the um, the portion of the blade or like the stock that's not shown I think he like has the blade steel etched in I see when he um, shows some like behind the scenes on his Instagram he'll do that before he puts the scales on I haven't taken them off because I have no reason to but I just think that's a cool touch that he's not like billboarding it on his knife but it's there if you ever want to you know confirm I guess um, one thing I, I, I do like is it's just a clean you know kind of bouncing off that same idea is it's just a clean palette like his logo's not anywhere um, it's just you know very sterile just a clean design so i really, really like it and i think that's all for materials so uh i normally jump into action next which you know is pretty typical of my folder reviews uh however this is not a folder this is a fixed blade so i guess you know i can just talk about the action from the uh sheath real quick and i already kind of you know hit on that with how the retention is very very well done um but it's it's really easy in and out of the sheath you know in and out right there Um, sometimes I do, you know, when I go to draw and use it, I do, if I have like a hoodie and a coat on, because I wear this to work and stuff like that, and it was like 30 degrees today in Pennsylvania, so it's pretty chilly. Um, I do, you know, make sure I'm putting it back in the sheath correctly, and I'm not like stabbing my hand or something like that, because I, I wouldn't want to do that. Um, and I don't know if that's just me being cautious, or maybe me uh, just, you know, this is really my first fixed blade that I've ever, you know, EDC'd, so uh, still kind of, you know, learning the ropes, I guess you could say. But yeah, it's just, I really like how he kind of textured, not textured, but uh, shaped the my, or, uh, Kydex right here. So you just get a really good, you know, thumb ramp and just pop it right off. Try to, you can just shoot it right off like that and you are good to go. So that's kind of the action of the fixed blade as I will, or as you will. Uh, but yeah, so next we're going to jump into Ergos. And again, this is a small knife. With my full grip on here, I get just three fingers, and my pinky doesn't even have anything to grab onto. So, trying to get a good view. There we go. Um, but that being said, this thing is ridiculously comfortable. I mean, it's nice and thin. The micarta is well done. It has a really good texture to it, so I get a really, really good grip. And I kind of just land right into that little spoon area right there. I just, you know, get choked right up there. There's no jimping, which I like. I don't think that they're... For, for a knife this small, I don't think that you need jumping on a blade. Um, you know, you're not going to be doing super strenuous tasks on a bigger fixed blade that you're carrying, and you're going to be out chopping in the woods, batoning, doing all kinds of stuff. Then, yeah, I could see jumping being maybe a little bit more necessary, but in this, I don't think it was necessary at all, so I'm glad he didn't put it on there. Um, you could probably sh use this as a strike rod for, like, a ferro rod. Um, I, I don't have any, you know, really necessary uses for that, so I, I don't know. Um, but it just has a good 90 degree angle on here. It's not a crown spine or anything like that, so. But it's really comfortable. My thumb just lands up here, and, you know, I can do any sort of cutting that I need to do, and it's comfortable. It was a little, you know, different at first to get used to not having my pinky on something, because even all of my you know, pretty small knives, I was still able to get part of my pinky on and it was, you know, pretty comfortable, but this just, you know, three fingers and you're good. So, um, but I, I normally either hold it in this position or this, you know, sort of spot, or I will take it kind of like a, kind of like pinch grip it and I'll put my, uh, excuse me, put my pointer finger up here. If I'm like drawing through packages, you know, cutting through a box, stuff like that. I find myself using this grip a lot because it's very comfortable and I can get some good control on the cutting. So yeah, carry is good or er ergos are good. I'm all over the place, guys. Uh, ergos are good. Now on to carry. So carry is, you know, a huge shining point of this knife to me. So I've, you know, I've, I've said it again. I've said it once in a while in the uh, previous videos, but I'm not a small person. I'm like 6'4", 250. I'm a bigger person. Of course, um, I just said that, duh, I'm repeating myself. 
But I, so I didn't want, you know, a big fixed blade, even though it's kind of contradictive because the bigger you are, technically the easier it is to conceal a bigger knife, uh, if that kind of makes sense. At least it does in my head. But I just wanted something small that you're not going to notice. You know, you're, it's going to be there. You can kind of just throw it on your belt and forget about it. And to me, that is exactly what this does. Um, I just, you know, I put my belt on. I move. I wear a, uh, a Trevex belt, a, a cinch belt, I think it's called. Um, I've used it for like three years. Love it to death. It's been very, very good for me. Uh, I will never go back to buying like leather belts again, unless if I'm, you know, doing like a you know, dressing up or anything like that. But back to the knife content, I put the belt on, I take it and I just swivel the buckle like over to my, the first um, belt loop on my pants to the left. And I put this and it kind of just rides, not necessarily in the center, but sort of like off center a little bit. And that's just to me where I found it, you know, rides perfectly, sits right under my, my little bit of a belly I have. And it, you know, just rides perfectly. I, I don't in the, you know, Numerous times that I've carried this, and I've carried it quite a bit since I've got it, I have never ever felt it was there, even if I've, you know, bent over tying a shoe, picking up something, you know, working on something, never felt it was there. So it's just, it carries super well. It's, it's, I mean, it's light as a feather. This whole package weighs nothing. I mean, it's overall probably like five and a half, six inches long. Like you're, you're not having a big package here. And I just, I really like that. So. The carbon fiber is nice and light, you know, the knife isn't relatively thick. It's just, I don't think I could imagine a better, you know, as far as small knives go, I can imagine a smaller or a better package, I think, for me. So, I've to me, it's perfect. Uh, and that leads me into my final category of, you know, price point and what I recommend this knife. Price point, off the top of my head, I believe was $185. You could get... Um, during that drop, I know he had some like ones that he had some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it was discounted because he had some like defects on it from, uh, I don't know if he was sharpening it or just cosmetic things is what I'm trying to say. No, you know, performance, uh, issues or whatever. And he announced that before the drop and I was like, Oh, I'm going to get one of those. Cause really, um, you know, I, I didn't think that that was such a big deal. I would rather take kind of a, you know, a little bit of a, cosmetic hit and save some money but the difference between the prices was only like five bucks so i was like okay of course i'm just gonna buy you know the perfect model yeah the one that doesn't have any issues or anything like that so i think it was like 180 bucks with like five dollar shipping something like that so i think it came out to be 185 dollars basically and i think it's worth it um I, I do understand i think it is a lot to pay for a small knife like this but if you think about it a company isn't making this like machines aren't aren't making this this is being handmade by jacob himself and he's making their small batches um i think he's trying to you know he's been a custom maker for a couple years now um the only other person i think that i've that i personally know of uh, that i you know talked to that has reviewed any of jacob's knives are or is jake from uh, bearded gear you guys all know jake i'll know and love jake uh but i think he has two or three knives from Jacob or has reviewed them. I don't think anyone else that I know personally in my kind of YouTube friends group has reviewed one. Um, so he's been a maker for a couple years now and I, I believe he is really trying to push it to go, you know, full time and to start making more products and to start, you know, giving people more opportunities to buy his stuff because he makes phenomenal knives. Every review that I see Jake do, he, you know, he speaks very highly of them, the models that he has in, and he really enjoys those knives. And I, I feel the same way. This thing is just really, really cool. Um, it's just it's just an awesome knife. And I really, really enjoy it. Um, it you know, 185 bucks. like I said, maybe it is a little expensive for the knife of this size. But when you think it's being made by hand by a custom maker, you know, just himself doing it, I think... Uh, actually, uh, Cerebus Brate... Cerebrus, Cerebrus, I can't talk tonight. Cerebus, Cerebus, I can't talk tonight. Um, Chris, the one guy who designed the artisan cutlery, uh, Arian, mini Arian, stuff like that. I can't, I can't say his company. I don't, of course, I can't talk on camera, but he might help out with, I think he just does Jacob's nano coating. I don't think he, 
I don't know if he does anything with the manufacturing or not, but I know Jacob does most of these by hand, I think. So um, again, you're getting, you know, fully handmade custom products for less than $200. That's really not bad at all. I mean, you're getting a nice sheath. The red carbon fiber looks really nice. You're getting a belt loop. You're getting really nice micarta, a good steel, and just a really good cutting profile. So, I mean, I, I found myself using it a lot to, you know, like I said, open packages. Uh, I've cut a little bit of cardboard with it. Um, opening letters, just really small, simple stuff that, you know, sometimes I choose to use that over a folder just because it's, it's exciting to me. It's exciting to use like, Oh, I gotta, I can use my newer fixed blade and stuff like that. Um, and I think in a pinch, uh, this would be you. I mean, to me, I thought that it'd be a good backup blade for a defensively, defensively, defensively. Guys, I am struggling tonight on this video. I am so sorry. Um, I just, I'm trying to get through it and to think everything through, before I say it, and of course it doesn't happen sometimes. So, but you guys know, I mess up a lot of my videos. That's just me. So, uh, but I think this would be used really well in a you know sort of a tight pinch situation. You know, if you just happen to have to grab it, and you know, happen to need to use it, I think a small blade like this would be um, easily concealed, easily drawn, and you know, used in whatever manner you need it to be used. Obviously, every knife could do that, but. Um, to me, I think that's another kind of perk of having this. So, so I would recommend it at the bottom of the day. I think it's a, you know, a very fair price for the product you're getting. And when you think of the work behind it, I, I do think it's fair. So, uh, thank you, Jacob, if you happen to watch this, uh, for making such a cool product. And I hope you have really good success in the future with your chickadee drops. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this right off the top of my head. I should have earlier, but this is the space coupe edition no not space coupe he's coming out with the space coupe edition this is the blood moon edition see guys i'm just all discombobulated right now um so hopefully i'm not embarrassing my, myself but this is the space coupe edition no oh my gosh this is the blood moon edition the space coupe is the new one he's coming out with i think or the one he just did one of the two it's hard to keep track guys i see a lot of knives every day and i see you know, I, I, I go through a decent amount of knives, and it's it's hard to keep track of my head sometimes. So please don't flame me for being a ding-dong tonight. But um, I'm going to end this video before I mess up anymore and embarrass myself anymore. So thank you for you guys for watching the video, for suffering through this almost 18-minute long, probably confusing, probably you're probably laughing at me, but, you know, it's all good in the hood. So this was my full review of the Jacob Ginsburg Chickadee, specifically the blood moon edition i almost said space coop again but the blood moon edition um if you are interested in the chickadee model like i said in the beginning i will leave jacob's website and his instagram link down below please go check him out and give him some support he is just trying to grind with products and i like i said i think he's coming out with a drop really really soon so be on the lookout for that but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting i love all of you so so much and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i think this is coming out on i'm gonna post this on thursday so have a fantastic Christmas Eve and holiday season. Um, it's the best time of the year to be with family, friends, to be giving gifts, to get gifts. It's just all the good food. Just my favorite time of the year. So I hope you guys really enjoy it with your loved ones and you have a good time. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.